I don't do unboxing videos, but I guess I'm going to take a stab at it now. Uh, I see one word in here. Texan. What could it be? Another loop antenna. Anyway, I kept it in here so you could see how it came straight from China. Take a peek at it. Packaging looks decent, doesn't it? This is the Texan AN. 48X, active loop antenna, long, medium, and short wave. So, this is a portable indoor active loop antenna for enhancing the reception sensitivity of long wave, medium wave, or short wave signals. The antenna comes with three types of connector cable and a ferrite coupler for connecting to different types of radio. Exciting. It's got suction cups. It's got some RCA connectors. It's, it's interesting. There's a base station, so it's just basically a cradle. Battery cover right there. Frequency tuning knob. Well, let's take a peek, shall we? Ooh. Couple layers here. An apartment of parts. So at the top we have a telescoping antenna. This is what I did with the telescoping piece of metal with the hooks on the end. And the power YST connector plugs in there. Here's that fella right there. Power on off. Knobs feel, I don't know, kind of loose. It has positive stop on both of them, so they're probably potentiometers. It's very light, nothing to it really. It takes a couple double A's. And, okay, it is a loop. I don't know if it's cut or if it's a full loop in there. I imagine it's a loop. If you took uh, conductance testing from here to here, I bet you'd find full conductance through that loop. That'd be interesting to do after we take out a few screws. Has a little hook on the end. That's pretty cool. That must plug into something on the, on the base maybe or something. We'll figure that out in a minute. This is what I did with the telescoping piece of metal with the hooks on the end. 120 all the way up to 20, or 20 meg, rather. Alright, who needs instructions? Ooh. A couple BNC connectors on one end. There's layers. Alligator clips, those are nice. This has a 3.5 mil to an RCA. A suction cup, what a little clippy doop. And not exactly sure what this is. There's some magic under there. That is a shrink wrapped piece of probably ferrite core or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Here's my smash finger again. And probably part of the base. And an extension cable here. And here we go. Okay. So that fella. What do you guys think here? That's got to be the show side here. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Extension cable. 
So we'll be doing some testing on the uh, on the loop antenna here, and I'll do a. I actually have another loop. I have the MLA thirty, but it's up in my attic, and there's no real easy way for me to swap that out and do a real world test with this without this being in the attic, which I guess I might be able to do. All right, watch for my upcoming video. I honestly cannot figure out what this base station is for, but I realized that the jacks actually fit in that hole darn near perfectly. They can almost snap in to a point. You see that one's loose, but a little push forward and it kind of slides in there. So I wonder if this is to maybe put your radio on. You can run a wire from here up to here and then out to your antenna. I'm guessing what that's for. Kind of silly, really. But that's my guess. So I did a few small tests with the AN48X last night, and um, results are impressive. Um, I don't know if it was just a lower noise floor making it seem like stations were stronger. I need more time with it. I've been very busy. Uh, and I'm going to be traveling this weekend, uh, working days and nights and weekends recently. So more to come. Please subscribe, tune in, and uh, hit that bell. Thanks.